ChatGPT has rolled out a new exciting option called GPTs. With GPTs, you could basically create your own custom ChatGPT and you could train it with your own data and with your own set of instructions. And these are basically mini chat GPTs for a very specific function. So in this video, let me show you exactly how to create your own GPT step by step, and I'll give you a ton of resources to make the process a bit easier. So to access GPTs and to build your own, you need chat GPT plus that's the paid version or you need chat GPT enterprise, and they are just rolling this out. So if you go to your accounts and your account doesn't have this new layout, you don't have it just yet. So you have to wait. This is not something you could force to actually be added to your account. You will just have to wait. They are rolling this out. But any day now, you should have this new option where your layout should look like this. And on top right here, you'll have GPT-4, GPT-3.5, and the plugin store. Now, this version of GPT-4 has Dolly, web browsing, and advanced analysis built into it. So they are all in one now. You no longer have the dropdown. Then the GPTs are under this new tab called Explore. So if you go to this Explore tab, you're gonna see my GPTs. These are the ones you could create. So I've created one here as an example, and I'll create it again from scratch to show you how it works. Recently used any of them that are made by OpenAI, for example, you could click on any one of these to use them. So this is just very specifically for generating images using Dolly. Although this is part of GPT-4, you could access it here in a GPT that is very specific. So these GPTs, as you could see, they're for very specific use cases. So this one just teaches you how to play board games for different age groups. This one is a negotiator, for example, for helping you become a better negotiator when you're trying to buy a used car, for example. And we're gonna make our own up here. So to create your own, press this right here, and it's gonna bring you over here where you could actually just use plain language here to customize your own GPT. So on the left side, you're gonna go ahead and create here. We're gonna do this with just giving it a prompt one at a time. You also have this configure tab, which is a little bit more advanced, but I'll show you exactly how this works as well. And on the right side, this is a live preview. So whatever changes take place on the left side, you'll see a live update in the preview window and you could go ahead and message your GPT over here to see how it's working. So let's go ahead through the prompting process here one at a time. So the very first prompt is you need to tell it what kind of GPT you wanna make. Okay, so my prompt is I want to make a GPT, so you would start like this, that is an AI expert, so tell it what kind of a thing you wanna build, and mine is gonna have the latest AI knowledge and information. Again, this is gonna be very up to date because I make these videos literally the day things come out, right? So it's gonna be a lot more updated than the regular version of GPT. So this is gonna first access my own information and then it's gonna also have access to the regular GPT to give answers if it doesn't know something that is not part of my data set. So I'm gonna just press send here. And then it's gonna go through the process of actually giving it an update. So you can see this is updating it. And as soon as it has an update, it will refresh here on the right side. So the first thing it does is it comes up with a name, AI Insider. You could actually ask it for another name if you don't like that name and it's gonna give you another name, if you like it, just say that's okay. And I actually asked it for five simpler options here and I'm gonna go with number one. And then it's gonna create you a logo. So this is a logo here and it's gonna update over here. So AI guide, this is basically a little description. This is the logo and I could even upload my own logo if I want to do that. So let me show you how that works. You could press this icon here and here's the logo I already have. This is for the AI learning platform, Skill Leap AI. So I could go ahead and click this and then I could just press enter and then I could make this basically the new logo over here. So you'll see that it'll replace it over here. I could even use this as a way to show basically my AI expertise and maybe use this as a way to generate leads. Next is gonna ask me a follow-up question. What kind of information should AI guy focus on when interacting with users. And I could say something like AI apps, AI training, AI trends. So this is again, based on the type of chat bot you're building here with these GPTs. So answer accordingly. I'll show you a couple other follow-up questions because based on the ones I've built before, it usually asks me a similar set of questions. So then it's gonna ask what kind of tone you want. This is a question I get every single time. So I'm gonna say formal, and friendly is the tone I want, but it's gonna give you some options here to choose from. And then it's gonna say, is there anything you should avoid? So you give it prompts for things you should avoid. And I'm gonna say avoid medical and legal advice. This is something that ChatGPT also does by default. Now, I'm gonna to go to the configure tab to show you 
it's filled out all this information for me as I was going. So you can press the plus sign that's here by default before you add a logo, and you could actually upload your own logo I created with Dali. You could also name it manually here, the description, the instructions. These are the instructions I've given it so far. You could add a whole lot more instruction here, and you could just keep talking to it to get better instructions. Just ask it, what other types of instructions should I give you? And it's going to give you some ideas. And then he always asks, do you want it to ask clarifying questions or should it always make an educated guess? I'm going to ask for clarifying questions. And as you look over here, there's these things called conversation starters. So it gave me four of them here. And if I go to the configure tab, these are the conversation starters. So I could actually X these out. So again, I said, I don't want anything in the world of medicine. Maybe I could go ahead and X that out. And then I could add my own over here as well. So it's going to have four and it's going to show up like this. And it says it's basically ready to go. And it's asking me if I want to refine it anymore. And I could say, no, I'm all set. But we're going to go to the configure tab to actually give it our own data too. Right now, it only knows our instructions and what kind of topic we are covering. So just to test that out, if I click one of these starter questions, it's gonna to go to work just like ChatGPT. And here's basically the limitation before it gets my own data. You could see it says latest AI trends as of early 2022. Well, that's pretty useless since most AI trends happened in 2023. So you can see this is a very good use case for someone like me that stays up to date with all these type of AI tools to actually give it information that I would only have access to. So I could go to the configure tab here now and do some of that customization. Right now, the capabilities are available as well. So you could check these on. So web browsing, yes, I want web browsing. You could always set that as an instruction too. You could say access the web for the latest information first as a prompt. Image generation is turned on and code interpreter or advanced data analysis is also turned on over here. And I usually leave all these on. If you're building it, there's no reason not to have these on to give it all that functionality. Uploading the files, this is where really the magic of these GPTs come into play. You want to give it custom information. So I'm gonna upload files. And I have some of my scripts here from my latest video so I could select these and upload them over here. You could do PDFs and things like that over here as well. And now I could tell it always refer to my own data set first. So I could add that as part of the instructions here under the configure tab, now it has all these documents. And here you have additional settings. So it says use conversation data in your GPT to improve our model. So this is training OpenAI, for example, you could choose to check this off if you want. And then there's this option called actions. This is really interesting. Basically, I'll give you a link to this page of what exactly this is. But this lets you use third party services to retrieve information and take actions. This is where GPTs are really gonna shine. They're going to become what are called AI agents. AI agents could go and perform tasks on the web, right? They're no longer limited to just this box. They could basically go do things for you, like send emails or Slack messages. So in order to use these, the service they recommend right now is called Zapier. So I'll put a link to this page in the description below this video. This is going to basically walk you through exactly how it all works. But you do need a Zapier account in order to do this. If you don't know what Zapier is, it's basically an app that connects 6,000 different apps that usually wouldn't talk to each other. And right now it says it could do 20,000 type of different actions across all these different apps. And it's going to walk you through how to exactly get started. So you want to copy this over. And then this is the box that that is going to go into over here. And then it will actually populate it and you'll have to connect it. Now this is far more advanced then this beginner guide to GPT. So I'll make a dedicated video coming up on how to integrate this automation with building your own GPTs, but this could be very, very powerful here. And let me ask it a question that is only available in one of these documents. So I'm gonna say, what's ChatGPT4 Turbo? And this is from my last video. So it says ChatGPT4 Turbo is an advanced version of ChatGPT introduced by OpenAI. Context window 128,000 tokens in length, updated data to April, 2023. These are directly from the transcript of that video I made. So I transcribed my own video. You could take transcripts from YouTube. They all have transcripts as well. And then you could put it into a Word doc or a PDF like this and upload it. And that becomes your knowledge base. In this case, I'm using my own videos, but there are information online. You could just gather them and serve a very narrow specific purpose with these GPTs. So people will use these because they have more updated data and more narrow focus than just regular chat GPT, for example. 
So let's say I'm done here. I could go up here to save. And these are the three options. So you could just make this privately available for yourself. So this is a great way to chat with your own documents, for example. You could share this with a link with other people, or you could turn this into public, which this will be something called the GPT store. And they're going to do revenue share with you based on usage. Now, all the information is not available just yet on how the stores are going to work. But again, make sure you subscribe as soon as the stores come out. I'm going to share how to make these GPTs available inside the store and exactly how the monetization works as soon as there's more information. And there's one more setting available. Let me go ahead and confirm this. If you go down to your profile and if you go to settings and beta, there's this option now called profile builder. So this is how you would actually look inside of the store, for example, when that becomes available. And you could go ahead and verify a new domain and actually link your domain to it. So this becomes what the lead generation is. You could basically get people to go to your website. So if I want people to go to Skill Leap AI, I could go through this process and actually add this text record to my domain provider. And I just verified it actually inside of GoDaddy just to make sure it's all good and press done. And I just refresh the page. I turn this on here. Now it's gonna be available. Again, once I roll this out into the store once that is released. And if I go to the AI guide here and if I refresh the page, there it is. So this will take people directly to my website, which is really, really interesting a really great way to generate leads in a whole new way for businesses. I'm really excited to test this out with a few different ideas. And if you want to stay up with all things AI, this platform, Skill Leap AI, is basically an AI platform for all kinds of different AI courses. So we bundled them all into one and it's completely free to try out. So you could actually enroll in an entire course if you want. We have well over a dozen different courses. We have 20 different downloadable resources like Prompt Guys. So if you wanna master ChatGPT or MidJourney or any of these top AI tools, especially if you're doing this to be more productive with work and business. So I'll put a link in the description if you wanna learn more and try the free trial. Again, a lot more videos are coming up about GPTs, so stay tuned and I will see you next time.